When I got serious about digital art, I was obsessed with perfect lines. They had to be exact. Smooth, no wobbles, flawless tapered ends. I managed it either by vectoring, drawing the stroke multiple times until it hit, or usually punching the heck out of paint tool sigh smoothing. And I got good at perfectionist graphics. And then one day, I was commissioned by someone who sent this wonderful character art as a reference for how their character looked. Something about the style really appealed to me, so I did what I always do, I went to study it. I clicked to full screen the art, and the original resolution blew up in my face with how big it was for print. Guess what the line art looked like? It was a mess. On the colored lines, definitions between one color and the next were sloppy, there were sections that had semi-transparent chunks taken out of them from erasing, it wasn't perfectly smooth, remainder markings were everywhere, in some places the fill color didn't even meet the line or it overshot, and it didn't freaking matter. You couldn't see any of it at a normal size. The art was fabulous full stop. In fact, up close, the rougher state of the line art actually made it better. If it were clean, opaque, and perfect, there wouldn't be any interest. It would just be a solid shape. That was the day I gave up the perfect line. And now sometimes all I do is erase messiness off a sketch until it's usable. All the time that would have been spent slowly inking goes toward more important stuff like detail or posing or lighting. I'm very serious when I say imperfect line art will vanish when everything else is done well. Of course, there are some styles that still need perfect line skills, but man, for the rest of it, forget the line. If you know how to draw, the art is going to look good whether or not you waste an hour on absolute perfection. Spend that hour on something that will make a significant visible difference, or else call the drawing done! Next!